One thing about our people is that they never hoard. If they have something, they share all of it with each other, regardless of good or bad fortune. Maybe that's why we are so damn poor. Hi guys, my name is Sofia and on this channel I talk about health, beauty, lifestyle and recently books. Today is my first book review of the Mariah Campbell Health Bread. Some moments were really touching and I felt so much emotion, especially gratitude when I was reading this. So I decided to make a short review and make, my, and make someone of you interested in reading it too. This book was present from my English teacher, Mr. Yaneta. He gave me it like at summer, but I didn't read it till December. Yeah, I'm hearing this and I want to hear this. So, what is this book about? It's a girl named Maria Campbell, like her autobiography. She started off with the historical background of Indians and half-breeds in general and came to the time when her dad met her mom. Also, her mother was from wealthier background than her dad, but she still decided to marry like poor man, even though she had like better options of. I'm not like critic and this just like the life of a family. But as we think, as, as we see soon, their marriage will be really happy, but also poor because together they will have like eight children. Mariah being the oldest, Maria almost. Maria, Maria being the oldest one, the thing was that the mother was a housekeeper and the dad, meanwhile, was working, so out of town, out of family, out of sight, out of mind. There were some points at the book when I realized that I'm really grateful for my family being pretty much wealthier than these people because Mar Maria had argument with uh, her parents because they eat only meat and some vegetables so didn't have any like fruits or I don't know sweets and her fellow white kids in the school they eat like oranges and apple every day and uh, Maria's family only had oranges and apples on Christmas when they can afford it one thing about our people is that they never hoard if they have something they share all of it with each other regardless of good or bad fortune Maybe that's why we are so damn poor. Unfortunately, she died really young age and really young age for her family. Main characters, grandma also died and they left with the father who is like always at work with eight kids together and Maria being the oldest one and uh, with grand grandma. I had to bake, cook, wash clothes twice a week on a scrub board, make enough lice soap to last us for six months unwrapped old tattered socks, sweaters and meats to need new ones. It's like, I don't want to spoil everything, but they have really small children between newborn and two years old, like a little bit older. Her and her older brothers, I think Robbie was the name, they were just switching around in the school to check on the kids and when they can't switch anymore because teachers were suspicious, they brought the kids to school and just hide them in a bush so they can switch and look at them by saying, oh, I'm going to the toilet for five minutes like every time. And I mean, it's so frustrating. I, I think it's like... The woman was too stunned to speak. Undescribable how they older kids who are still kids like 12 years old and 11 years old need to be like nannies for the younger ones who are like one years old and they don't have their mother around and they don't have any help in my opinion like what i want to say about this book is that it was some kind of light for i think first half it was like okay speed and then the the actions start really changing a lot so we see maybe on the 100 page from 150 pages that maria goes from like 16 or 15 15 15 years old to being married to being like divorced to have kids to be in another society class and like everything included i don't want to be really on details because this book has so much small details about her life that is actually 
really painful and emotional to read so i want you guys to experience it yourself but i want also to read maybe some of my favorite quotes from me that was really emotional for me so i mark it to reread it afterwards maria talks about her best friend karen from the childhood and she said she took her lovely home for granted and all of the things they had, but admired the way we lived and preferred to be with us. My constant ambition was to finish school and take my family away to the city, giving them all Karen had and more. When I tried to interrupt, I was told to shut up. He, her dad, said that I had acted like a common whore. Your mother never did anything like that in your life, and as long as you're under my roof, you'll act like a lady. I told him I was a Campbell, not a dump the book. The book? I told him I was a Campbell, not a the book. And if my mom was a lady, then why did she run off with him? I had never talked back before, much less yelled at him. There is a quote about her drug addiction. Once my body grew accustomed to them, all they did was make me feel worse. But I continued to take them because by the time I was hooked and couldn't go on without always believing that they would make me feel really good like they had in the beginning. But they never did. I only ended up feeling dumb and depressed. It was getting worse every time and I think that's why I really appreciate reading it. Like because of comparison to my life and just oh my god. The basic thing that I had like I can study I have people to who took care of me like I don't need to like get married or something I ha I don't have drug addiction uh, this made me really grateful about my situation in my life together so read this book if you're interested and if you're not don't read it but keep watching and follow for more bye guys